Welcome back to Houston Life. Spring is here. The wildflowers are blooming. The roller coaster we know is Houston weather. Well, that is here in full force. Okay, dry skin, dead skin, excessive yeah. sweating. Yeah. Whatever you're handling or Spicy dealing salsa. with, we're all dealing with it too. And our <laughs> next guest is ready to help us face it all. Dermatologist, our friend, Dr. Shara Ingraham, joins us now with some springtime solutions to help us sort of refresh and reset during the spring. Yes. And this is the thing. I mean, does your advice change every single day? Because it seems like the season's here in Houston. Right does. now we're in that weird transition where it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, which we'll talk a little bit about, but we are going through that more of that humidity change. So as the ambient humidity gets better, we can do a little more exfoliating. Our skin barrier will tolerate it a little oh, more, okay. so we're going to get into that. But the first thing you got to do is spring clean everything. So get your gym bag. We have this nice vibrant gym bag. Take your gym bag. I love this little spray alcohol. Oh. You can get a little washcloth and wipe out your gym bag once a month. It does grow bacteria. It Ugh. will get on your stuff and cause acne and back knee and body acne. If you're a man and you have a great little travel bag, wipe this out once a month with a little alcohol. You can even use, sometimes I'll use hand sanitizer on okay. a trip. Also your makeup bag. This is embarrassing my makeup bag. It, a makeup bag that's aerated does better, but you need to wash your brushes. And I always say wash them once a week and who does that, oh. but twice a week. Get, get a little uh, detergent. All you have to do is use kitchen soap and then leave them out to dry. And then the most important thing is mascara when it smells throw it out. Toss it okay. out. Three months is the half-life. Because okay. there are little bugs in there, right? Absolutely. You get oh, wow. And once it starts to smell, throw it away. And okay. The, and the makeup brushes, too. Uh, so you could just use dish soap, you said? Yeah, dish soap is great. Shampoo is great. Oh, or wow. Dish soap. You know, maybe if you have finer brushes, you want to use a little shampoo, but dish soap works great. Okay. And then we move on to getting your body exfoliated, ready for spring. But a lot of people use these at-home loofahs, at-home. These synthetic ones are safer. They don't grow as much bacteria, but I always tell people, once a month wash them really good again with detergent okay dish detergent rinse them out razors are really these disposable razors I tell my children throw them away every two weeks okay because they get rough and they grow bacteria just and cha change the head out right well change the head out or these if they don't change the head just throw them away Got it. the problem is they sit in that warm shower which right. is like the perfect place it's like a petri dish for mold so, right bacteria. so if you can take them out at night and let them dry on the counter that's even and better. then when you're shaving you're open oh, uh, yeah it's just, <laughs> you're just asking for it you're just asking for it. okay so what about your body everyone's into exfoliating right now it's springtime clean time so so body exfoliators, Aveeno has these great body exfoliating products as well as Neutrogena. You want to look for salicylic acid, okay. alpha hydroxy acid, they'll say brightening and lightening. The key to exfoliating is remember, don't do it every day. Don't mechanically exfoliate and chemically exfoliate at the same time, uh -oh. right? Because these are chemical exfoliators and patients come in all the time and they'll do this and then they'll get that and scrub and you're just kind of overdoing it with it's your too skin. Much. Right. It's too much. So pick a lane. Don't do it every day. Every third day is a good tool. If you're more sensitive, maybe once a week. But the other thing to remember is it does make your skin barrier more sensitive to the sun. I see. So when you're using facial exfoliators in particular, so a lot of these Neutrogena, La Roche products, they have the same Aha Baja, Alpha Hydroxy, Beta Hydroxy acids in them, retinols. They're all taking off that top layer, Ooh, right? Okay. Which is kind of like that curtain in the window, right? Revealing beautiful skin, taking off that dead stratum corneum, but now the light shining through the window. Yeah, more vulnerable. So you need more sunscreen. So remember, if you're going to exfoliate, it's springtime, step up the sunscreen. So always use, you know, we always say SPF 30 or higher, right. or zinc based. I love these sticks. These are my favorite because you can keep this in the glove compartment yeah. of your car. You can put it on your hand. Little or, sunscreen stick, huh? Yes. Nice. Keep those spots off your hands. There's a, a bunch of different options from different brands, but they go on transparent. They don't smell. Right. And men love these. They're like, I'm not going to put on sunscreen, but I'll use that stick. That's it's stick. easy, convenient. What about an expiration dates, Dr. Ingraham? Because this is something that honestly, I don't really think about. I use a product until it's done and then I throw the container in the recycle bin. Should we be paying attention to those days? You should. Now, smell is the first test. Something that is even before the expiration date, sometimes it'll start smelling, throw it out. We live in a hot, warm Houston environment, throw it out. Smelling like what? Smelling foul, smelling moldy, smelling yucky. It's that's not really, fresh. really oh. important. So that's important. But all products do have a date on them now. So you can lift up the product and they'll have a little circle and it'll say like 12 months. That's 12 months after you've opened it. Throw it out. Okay. Okay. So look for that little 
little circle on the back with a little date. And, and are you liking you. like the mineral sunscreens right now, or what mineral for this season? Mineral sunscreens for, for this are season. really, really great. They're sheer mineral sunscreen now and tinted. Remember, tinted sunscreens block blue light, and that's like computer light and studio light. Exactly. Okay. Cool. So, but what if you really, really, really want to brighten up for spring? You got to take the cold water plunge. Oh, a cold water plunge, you say? Am I the victim today? You are the victim. So yes. Come on over. <laughs> okay. So, can I tell you, Brandon? A couple weeks ago, I went downstairs and I was like, what? I, I thought something was wrong. Mm -hmm. Brandon had his whole face in a bowl of ice. Ooh, he is ahead of the curve. He's I ahead of the curve. It. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Okay, so first of all, let me give you a pep talk. You're doing this because you want to constrict the vessels, reduce inflammation, move the lymphatic fluid. Yes, so those are the benefits, Derek. Those you got to focus. Those are all the benefits. You got to focus. You go into the games. Okay. So then we're just going to dip your face in there. And okay. Less than a minute's fine, but you can do it for a few seconds. How, how far does my face go in? As much as you can do it. I'm as not going to. Hold your breath. You. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay, so welcome to the Houston Life Show without Derek. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know hey, what? that wasn't long enough. Get back in there, Get dude. back in the bowl, Derek. Come on, back man. In the bowl. Back in the bowl. <laughs> okay. Move. This, I've been waiting for this moment the whole, actually my whole life. <laughs> He can't. He can't last. Break the Dr. Ingram, he laugh. can't do but it. The point of this is, it's going to constrict the vessels. It's good to Listen, do it in the morning. Listen, we're coming back. We have to take a quick break. I cannot thank you enough, Dr. Ingram. Houston Life will be right back. Derek, come on.